Welcome to our introduction to comparison operators. Comparison operators do exactly what they're named for. They compare values and return a true or false result. This is distinct from mathematical operators, for example, which produce a numerical result. Let's take a look at some examples. 5, the less than symbol, and 6. This produces a true result. Now if I change the argument to 5 is less than 4, my result is false. Let's state that 5 is greater than 4. This is true. 5 is not equal to 4 also produces a true result. Let's check that out. But 5 not equal to 5 produces a false result. 5 is less than or equal to 5 produces a true result. 5 is greater than or equal to 5 produces a true result as well. In our next tutorial, we're going to learn how to use comparison operators. And this concludes our introduction to comparison operators.